What's up YouTube, it's PCCSC in here. I'm going to be doing a quick video for you guys showing uh, the two Zippos I got at our beach trip. These um, are, well I purchased both of these last week, so at our beach trip from last week. So yeah, and the when I shot the videos, obviously I used my iPod so I could actually upload them there. And you know, my iPod doesn't have the best focus. In fact, excuse me, it can't focus at all. So anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, hopefully better... Um, giving you guys a better look at the um, the two Zippos. So without further ado, um, let's go and get into it. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is the first one I got. got this the first day. Um, as you can see, it comes in this little um, collector's tin, and you can see the model right there is uh, 20828 HD Sheriff, okay? And if you look at this, you can probably assume that the HD stands for Harley Davidson. That's right, I got this. Um, I just got, I really wanted to get a Zippo on the first day, you know, it's just one of those things. We're at the uh, the Waves, we, there's, there's a little surf shop that was pretty close by. And just like I said in my video about where to get Zippos, be very careful in smoke shops. They did have both Zippos and they also had some stars in there, okay? So, you know, you gotta make sure that you look. If you want to, if you're really interested in collecting Zippos, you have to make sure you are getting a Zippo, not a star, okay? So you just need to make sure you check to see what the brand is. Um, anyways, there you go, as you can see, and uh, there's the model again. Um, here it is. It comes in this little collector's tin. It's the first Zippo I've ever gotten in a collector's tin. Alright, and it's upside down. Pop this out. Alright, that's how you get them out, guys. Just bang it against the hand like that and then suddenly boom here it is the uh... Harley Davidson Sheriff. I don't know if this is like an actual like if this is a model designed after an actual sh like Sheriff star if like this is what the star that maybe a sheriff who rides a Harley Davidson <laughs> uh, would get like if that's their police car or you know their, I guess their police bike or something I don't know uh... if it's a Harley Davidson or something maybe it, maybe it's like county or state issued or something like that, I guess they'd also get one of these. I'm not really sure, but there you go. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's got a number one on there. I'm not sure what that means. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I'm not sure. If anyone wants to clear that up for me, if, if that is what that is, or if, it's just, if they just put it on there because they it, it's a cool design or something, I don't know. But my assumption is, is that if you have a, um, uh, a sheriff with a, I guess, a county issued police motorcycle made by Harley Davidson, they probably would get one of these. So I'm not sure. Um, one of these little uh, sheriff stars. I've never seen one before, so I'm not sure. But yeah, and a little surprise that I was really shocked by. If you look, it's actually a black crackle finish, which is really, really cool. I do like that black crackle finish. It's kind of... And just like a lot of people say, you know, it looks really rough and aggressive. You can see that. But it's not. It is smooth. It's really, really smooth. I mean, it, it's weird. <laughs> it, it's totally, like, smooth. I mean, you know, it's not, like, silky, silky, you know, just like, wow, that's so smooth. Uh, although you could pretty much say that. Um, but, I mean, you know, it, it does have a slight texture to it, obviously. I mean, I don't know what to compare it to. I guess if you took... Um, I really don't know, guys. Um, yeah, it just feels really smooth. It feels really nice. Uh, as you can see, it was made in January of 2005, so it's actually kind of old. They actually, in that same display, and I really wish I got this one, they had one that looked like it came in, like, I don't know what year it is, but, you know, I have a, my uh, BS Deco 1932. That one came in the, um, in the generation of, in the box that came before this style box. Um, but they had one that came before that. It was a the really, really old box. I'm not really sure what year it is, but I'm pretty sure that it, ha it that that Zippo would probably have a Roman numeral on it. So, uh, as a date, I wish, I really wish I'd gotten that one, but I wasn't really sure what it was advertising. It was kind of a, a weird word that I couldn't really understand any of the letters. Anyways, let's uh, take a look at the insert. Insert was made in December of 2004, and if you remember, this insert was so tight, 
it, I had, I probably spent about a minute trying to get this stupid thing out when I was making the video. I mean, it was ridiculous how tight it was, but it's certainly a lot looser now. It is a little tight, though, but I do like how it's really tight. It's amazing. Okay, so, that's that one. And, obviously, we got this little thing right here. It advises you about how to take care of your Zippo's finish. It's got a laser engraving on it. And, we've also got the Zippo for real in there. And, um, the older, the, uh, previous, uh, version of the Guarantee Pamphlet, which I've shown in another video. Again, the 19, the BS Deco 1932. Okay, moving swiftly along, let's look at this one. Okay, my battery is blanking, so let's try not to spend too much time on it. You know what? Let me see. Never mind. <laughs> well, I mean, if you actually, if you take your finger, rub this, and you rub this box, you know, it feels slightly different, but that's about the same texture you got. It's just, you know, this one's a little smooth. It's a little bit, I don't know how to describe it really, but there you go. Anyways, that's about as close as I can possibly compare it to. It feels kind of similar to that. Anyways, this one here is um, the other one I got. Unfortunately, I did not. I only got two of them. I really wanted to get at least like three or four of them, but, you know, I just didn't. But this one is model 20446 Sapphire. Okay, it's pretty cool. Got this one at Broadway at the beach. If y'all don't know what that is, you should definitely check it out. It's in Myrtle Beach. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a um, Sapphire Zippo, which is really neat. One observation I made, and because I'm kind of sweater right now, so hopefully I can get this to happen. What um, Speed Dog 138 described it as is it's a uh, um, a spectrum finish, but without the spectrum finish. It's just the blue. Like, you know, they just took a spectrum finish. They took a Zippo out of the spectrum batch and just called it a sapphire before they actually applied. I don't know. But that's what he described it as. Like, it's a spectrum Zippo, but it's just the blue. So, anyways. But, you know, in a way, he's actually... Um, kind of wrong because if you kind of rub it and you rub it yeah it's actually doing it now I wouldn't couldn't get it to do it in yesterday's take uh, can you see that if you your skin makes it change color like your skin oils can give it a bizarre coloration I do have very I am you know this is kind of gross but let's just see if I can get this to do it um yeah I think I got a little bit of it right there you can kind of see how it's changing colors a little bit I'm trying to really, my torso is really sweaty, and what I'm literally doing is rubbing it around on my chest and such, I'm trying to get some sort of effect here. It's you know, if you do, if you do handle it for a little while, you know, if you're looking at it, you're playing with it a little bit, you know, you just kind of hold it up. You know, if if you hold it for like extended period of time, maybe like five or so minutes, just without putting it down or without wiping it off, eventually you'll notice that it sort of starts to change color on you. It kind of starts getting like, it, it literally it changes from blue to like yellow and then there's some purple in there and then it kind of turns green and it starts to, it literally starts to become a spectrum finish, but it's not permanent at all. It wipes off. You just kind of have to use your finger and use a little bit of brute force to get it off. Because just wiping it off with a cloth is not going to make it go away. It's going to stay there. So you actually have to use your finger to physically wipe away those little skin bits of skin or, um, you know, hand oils and body oils and such and whatever that get on there and cause that discoloration. You physically have to wipe it away with your finger in order to get it to go away. But if you just sort of handle it and just, you know, hold on to it for a little while, you'll start noticing that, wait, why is it changing color? <laughs> so, yeah, that's just an observation I noticed. But anyways, if you're interested in the date code, um, it was made in November of last year, to, uh, November of 2011. Pop the insert out, which is much looser. That's actually what I would call, you know, what a Zippo should be. That's pretty much, you know, what most of my Zippos are. Um, it's made uh, in December of last year, December of 2011. So, that's that one. And so, yeah, that is um, all the Zippos that I got. Um, I, I had a specific shopping list of Zippos that I wanted to get, and unfortunately I just could not find any of them. Although, I could say that I want, I was looking for this one. I mean, I, after I saw Speed Dog do his little video on this one, I thought, wow, that's a really nice finish. I kind of want that one. So I'm really glad when I saw it at the uh, little tobacco shop I got it at. I was like, oh, look at that. I'll just get that one. 
So yeah, it was, but you know, I, you know, especially after getting this one, one of the ones that I was looking for was the Zippo, 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 and I wanted the one with the brass emblem on it, but I would be happy if I got the one with the pewter emblem on it. Um, but yeah, if you don't know what that looks like, it basically looks like this. Wow. That was weird. <laughs> Whoever took that picture has a very similar desk to mine and the exact same model iMac with the exact same setup. That's kind of freaky, isn't it? <sighs> uh, okay, anyway, um yeah, that was that was bizarre. <laughs> I hope that uh, anyway, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um yeah, so I wanted to get that one, but you know, I, I kind of—I was also looking for if I, if I saw the pewter one, I'd get that one too. Um, after all, the pewter one is a little cheaper, so whatever. But um, did, couldn't find that one. The other one I was looking for, and I did see this one, and I was gonna—that was like my emergency. We're leaving. Time to get a Zippo. Uh, I saw the Candy Apple Red um, model, but we were actually on the other side of the place from that Zippo when we were leaving, so I just had to go to this tobacco shop and get this one. Um, and. Yeah, um, I also wanted to see, at least see the, uh, uh, flame armor, but I couldn't, uh, I didn't really see that one. I really have never, I've never seen an armor Zippo, except for the little smokes and more. I think they have some armor Zippos, but they're just plain. Um, but I've never seen, like, an armor design at a store, so, whatever. Anyway, guys, uh, I think that's about it, so, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and adios. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. This video isn't over yet. It's not even close to being over. The track bar has still got a ways to go. Interesting. Well, surprise! What's this right here? That's a Zippo box. Yes. Um, I just arrived back, just before I shot this video, I just got back from an excursion to the Smokes and More to buy this lighter fluid, and I decided to take a look at their Zippos, and I saw one in there, and it surprised me, so figured, what the heck, I'm here, let's do it. So, yeah, surprise, new Zippo, hooray! So, let's take a look at this guy, because it's kind of weird, in lots of ways. So yes, I, I actually did get a new Zippo today. Um, this thing is weird, in a lot of ways. Alright? First of all, the box is very slim. I will show you, compared to this box, how slim the box is. Look at that! I don't know if this is like a new type, if this is like the next generation of Zippo packaging or what. I, I mean, I don't know if Zippo has changed it. I haven't, I don't know when this particular Zippo was made. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. But that's just ridiculous. That's so much thinner. I don't know. Maybe this is a, a new, a newer, um, maybe this is was made, you know, sometime this year. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Um, so anyway, that's the weird thing number one. Okay? Um, so. Yes, I'm sure you guys are wondering what Zippo this is, right? Well, let's take a look. Yep. <laughs> Zippo, Zippo, Zippo BR, and it's model 382. Okay. Now, let's take a look at it. We're getting into weird thing number two. Whoa! Now, this actually, right off the bat, has a definite more aggressive black crackle finish than this one. That's interesting. That actually looks like sandpaper, doesn't it? That's weird. But look at this price sticker. $24.95. When I looked this up on Amazon, it said it was $27. That was just, like, whoa. It's, that's cheap. I've got to get it. And weird thing number three is I just realized where... The, yeah, where's the... I really do hope I didn't get a Rippo. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that, guys. We'll check into that. I don't think this is a Rippo. I think this is a genuine. I think they might have just changed up the packaging on us. But where's the Made in USA? Oh, no! Do I have the guarantee? Oh, dear. 
I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well anyways. Yeah, that is pretty smooth, although it is a lot more aggressive than this one. But yeah, that was weird. And it was sitting right next to a um, pewter emblem one, which is $26. And um, the pewter ones are cheaper than these, usually. So, I don't know. There's suddenly a bunch of red flags going off in my mind. Let's see what this is all about. Slim box, no insert. What the flippin' heck is going on here? Oh, look. It's got the old guarantee. Oh, weird. Hang on. Let's see. I was not expecting that. I was thinking this is a newer box. I wasn't thinking this is an old box. So, I'm guessing this is like the first um, batch, maybe one of the first few batches to ship with this cardboard box. And they just... So, this actually does have the older guarantee in it. And there's the guarantee. So, okay, things are looking up. I'm pretty sure we have a genuine here. And here's the Zippo for real. So, this is an older Zippo then. Let's see when it was made. March of 2006. Is that an R or circle? I think that's a circle. And Bradford, Pennsylvania, made in USA. Alright. It's not really canned, but there you go. And it's, uh... That's the way the barrels were back in the day. They didn't really peel, pop that out. Um, older sticker. So let's take this out. Let's take this off. Wow, that just that literally came right up. I probably could have ripped it off actually a little faster. Alright. So. Okay. It's a little tight on the hinge. Interesting. It's just... Strange Zippo. <laughs> um, let's pull this insert out. So I got an oldie. Uh, C of 06. Alright. Is this an... Yep. C of 06. You can see right there. Um, yeah, it's got the real pins. It is uh, it is a real Zippo. It was just kind of thrown by that box. And uh, I wasn't really expecting to get a an oldie. I thought this was maybe a newer package packaging because you know things are getting slimmer now but you know I guess some things go in the opposite direction uh, but yeah there it is <laughs> I just had to get one because I like this finish so yeah it's awesome zippo 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 and see there's the first design then there's the script I'm not sure if that was ever um that's weird. And then there's the current design. Hmm. Interesting. So, and yeah, it does have, it is definitely smooth, but, you know, it does feel kind of, you know, like, it, it, you know, it, it feels a little, it, it does feel a little different than even this one. But this one, you know, I'm not really sure what this one is, honestly. I mean, I'm really confused now, like, I don't know. Anyway, that's that. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the little surprise there. I did. This, to be honest with you guys, this, oh, I guess it's that emblem. That emblem's putting a lot of weight on it, but I was going to say, this kind of feels like an armor, but obviously that emblem there, and it doesn't really, you know, the, the lid pro goes, you know, about the distant, the same distance as an armor would. Does it sound like an armor? Hang on. No, that sounds like a Zippo, but, you know. Yeah. Anyways, just one that I've been wanting for a little while. So, yeah, I finally decided to get it. And it's just really weird that it was actually cheaper than the plastic insert one. I, I do believe pewter is a type of plastic, isn't it? I, I think it is. But to that you go. Check it out. I'm not really thrilled that it comes in this... In the, uh, in the packaging that's really, really ridiculously hard to take out, but... Whatever, I'll get over myself. Anyway, yeah, new Zippo. Surprise! New Zippo. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and adios.